everyone. It's Natalie from www.angelicalimitgrace.org. First off, you guys, I am at 850 subscribers. OMG. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. It was not easy to get all the way to 800. So I am excited. I am grateful. I am thankful. Thank you guys. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. Today's video is about five strategic plans to take into consideration when you are thinking of starting a business. Watch the video until the end because I have some details in the ending and I think the last tip is the best tip. I want to take a minute to talk about my upcoming skincare line. So last year I started a skincare line and it didn't go as expected and I didn't take it as serious as I thought I would. So I went a year, um, which last year was my first year in opening my skincare line and it was just the add-on. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just know I like skincare and I wanted to add it as an incentive to what I'm already doing in life coaching. So as of this year, I decided to relaunch, rebrand and come up with different strategies to help and expand the line to add more of what people were asking of me. So be on the lookout, coming out soon. These are three of our my soap brands. I am actually making them myself. I am doing the logos myself. Everything is homemade. So I am purchasing ingredients and adding them on. So be on the lookout. The website will be here. Check it out. And yeah, I'm excited. Now, I have to admit, starting off a business, I had literally, it was just on a whim. I was like, I wanna do something. I know what I'm good at. Okay, let's go. So I sort of just went on the whim and did it. That's not always the best way. So I kind of want to talk about today the different things to help you guys avoid the mistakes that I made while being a new entrepreneur. Step number one, I recommend that you identify what your niche is. Too many times and like way too often we just want to go with the flow, go where the money is. And so we run to whatever direction that may be without any background thinking, without any planning, without any strategy. We just jump in because that is the hot commodity. That's what everybody's looking for. So let me go after it. Wrong, 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 wrong. You want to find your niche. Why do you want to find your niche? Your niche is what you're good at, what you're into, what you like. So then when you start a small business, it's not strenuous. It's not something that you don't want to do. You're doing something that you like to do. So you'll continue being motivated. You'll continue wanting to research more. You'll continue being interested in what you are offering because it's something that you are passionate about. As long as you are passionate about something or an endeavor, you will want to continue investing, continue doing it, continue making it better because it's something that you personally are passionate about. Step number two or advice number two. I find that a lot of the times we forget to save. Save, save, save. That was one of the things that um, I've seen when starting a business. A lot of people go into debt to start a business without knowing or without having a strategic strategy or a business plan or without having goals. We just jump into it. And that was one of the mistakes that I actually made. I went in full force investing and I didn't really have a plan as to what I wanted to do, what goals I wanted, what brackets I wanted to meet. I just went on a whim and I was like, okay, let's go, let's start, let's do this now. Yeah, sometimes that can be just great, but most of the times we're opening a business to actually start gaining a profit. So if we don't have goals, we don't have anything in mind and we're just spending and we have no structure, 
How do we know if we're even making anything? How do we know if the investments are worth it? How do we know? How do we know? How do we know? So to prevent that, I suggest, now I'm not a financial expert or anything, just from the mistakes that I made, I suggest that when you are opening a business, do it with what you have. So if you have $50 saved every week and it comes up to $200 by the time that you want to start your business, it's okay. Take that $200 and start investing into your business. Unless it's a business that you know is going to make immediate gains and the loan or the debt that you have is going to be paid off by that time, then do it. But if it's something that you don't know and you just want to test the waters and see how it goes, what you want to do is you want to start off with your own. Because too many times we go into debt and we don't know if it's going to work. And then when we go into debt and the business doesn't work out the way we planned it to work out, we still are obligated to pay that debt off. Advice number three, do your research. Before anything, look at your surroundings. Look at your targeted population. Who are you going to appeal to? Who are you going to attract? What is it that they're looking for at this time? Is it something that I'm looking for? Is it something that I'm going to be passionate about? Is it something that is going to lead me on a road where I know totally that people or my targeted audience are going to be interested in? Do the research. Advice number four, find a mentor slash coach. Now, this is where it comes real tricky. When you need to find a mentor, you need to know that a mentor is somebody that you can look up to, somebody that is wise, somebody that has proven to you or that you have the same ideologies or same systematic beliefs in or similar beliefs or similar strategies or you're down the similar field. You want to see that you can relate to your mentor because sometimes we need somebody to boost us. Sometimes we need somebody who can motivate us. Sometimes we need to sit with somebody who can show us a plan, show us what we're doing wrong, show us what we're doing right. It takes sometimes outside eyes to give us some criticism so that we can continue to go on. I do provide mentor services. Please check out www.angelicalovinggrace.org. And under the navigation bar, you will see a contact us and you can click there and set up an appointment with me. Last but not least, advice number five. Nothing. 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 Under the sun right now is new. Your friends doing a hair business? Cool. I want to do a hair business too. Think about it. Why do you really want to do the hair business? Is it because your friend's doing it or is it because something that you see that you can excel in? If it's something you see that you can excel in, go for it. Nothing is new under the sun. What's going to make you stand out and your product stand out or your services stand out is your authenticity. That's all. Your authenticity. You don't need to be nobody that you are not. You don't need to copy anybody's type of style because what may work for you may not work for that person. What may work for that person may not work for you. But if you are authentic and true to yourself and you are who you are, guess what? That will attract people towards you. That will be your originality. That will just be you. You guys, thank you for tuning in. Let me know in the comments how you like this video. And don't forget to check out www.angelicloveandgrace.org. Skincare line coming soon. Bye.